What's going on everyone? Sal here. Thank you so much for joining me on my very own how to trade using black box stocks video series. Folks, this is finally something that I have decided to put into motion. I brought a lot of people into this incredible opportunity, but now I want to offer my very own training to the individuals now and in the future to know how to properly use this incredible software. And I'm so excited about what you're going to learn in my very own training for how to use black box stocks. Now let's get started. Now what is black box stocks if this is your first time joining me? Black box stocks is a powerful institutional grade algorithm based trading alert system that scans over 8,000 stocks over nearly now a million option tr contracts across several exchanges, the NASDAQ, the NYSE, and the CBOE. Yes, we've got VIX, we've got SBX, we've got the ETFs as well, we got GLD, we got SPY, we've got alerts on all of those, and of course, the world-class following options flow, all right? We've got symbol-specific streaming news that I'll show you in just a bit. We've got the professional charting that I will show you in just a bit. Dark pool trades, we have them. Heat maps for long-term trades, we have them. Market advancers and decliners, we have them. But I, I, I got to show you the platform just to, you know, because this is just a snippet of what we have available. And of course, please, if you'd like to sign up, please use my website, www.blackboxstocks.us, my URL, to sign up. I would have greatly appreciate it. Who am I? Well, my name is LaSalle Nungu. I am a three-year Black Box Stocks user. I am not a part of the official staff, but I am someone who has used Black Box Stocks to eventually become a full-time trader. When I first came to this platform, I had one goal, and that was to make $2,000 per month. That was my first goal with Black Box Stocks. I have a bachelor's degree, I have a master's degree, but folks, I found myself at home with my parents after, you know, walking away from a job that was micromanaging me and not paying me, honestly, what I was worth. And I was looking for an opportunity to start my own business, my own trading business, but I needed an edge. I knew that to make money, I needed to either be involved in real estate or in the stock market where billions, trillions of dollars flow every single day and I just wanted my opportunity to get a piece of the action. And black box stocks offered me that opportunity and that's what I want to share with you. $2,000 a month was all I needed at the beginning. I said with $2,000 a month, I could pay you know, $600 to, to kind of help my parents around the house just to show them that I'm not lazy. And then the rest, I could invest in my trading business. I can tell you now $2,000 is, is basically what I can make in a day, sometimes in a week if it's really slow. But $2,000, ladies and gentlemen, is not out of the norm for traders who use black box stocks to earn on a daily basis. The company is not going to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you that as a trader, as a user of the software, you can make a stupid amount of money using the information this, this software provides. My new goal, $10,000 per month on black box stocks is what I aim for every single month. Now, for you to be a part of this, I've got to ask you some simple things. I need to ask you is your trading desk where you're going to be taking advantage of this opportunity? Is it clean? All right. Is it bright? Are you of sane and calm mind? Are you, you know, prepared to take quick action on alerts? Do you have a setup that offers multiple monitors so you can assess the price action of the alerts that the software is generating? Do you have at least a foundation? of knowledge that you at least know what an option is and you know how it can affect your account when it goes right or when it goes wrong if you don't have 
or can answer yes to any of these questions, I suggest you don't move forward. This software is for people who are honestly serious about trading the markets. Okay? This is not for part time traders. This is a software built from the ground up for serious investors. And I'm not saying that just to brag. I'm being 100% real with you. Okay? Because I don't want to waste your time. If you don't have the time to trade this, you need to go either you know, make changes in your life to find the time or you need to move on. Let's get to learn the software for those of you guys who, again, are here for the first time. So let's go ahead and get to the software. And I'm going to pull that up here. And as you can see, I've got Tesla pulled up. So this is what black box stocks looks like when you initially log in. You've got the flow situated right here in the middle of the screen showing the different tickers in this particular case i have tesla here on the charts and again this is professional charting software we got of course all our time frames daily weekly monthly one minute five minute all of them are here we've got all the studies that you could ever want rsi ema tricks stochastics uh true range i mean ultimate oscillator everything you can think of zigzag it's, it's all here all right volume it's all here at the bottom you'll have uh the most active calls being purchased right now the most active puts being purchased right now the bullish flow the bearish flow and of course the notional amounts being traded in each you got some information at the at the top here showing tech spy dia here all right so we can just get a broader look at the markets as we trade You've got the chatting software here to the right of the screen. And to the bottom of that, you've got different sections to find out more information about the tickers you're interested in. In this particular section, again, I got Tesla on the screen. So we're going to get alerts for other tickers we're looking into. But if we're you know, into Tesla, then we'll just get Tesla alerts if I decide to. All right, But we can use the alert screen stream to get tickers uh, and information for other tickers. All right, and as you can see here, 52-week highs across the board, dark pool trades as well for uh, in the interested tickers as well. All right, we've got pre-market scans, we've got post-market scans, we've got them all here. All right, here's the post-market scans. Okay, we got them all here. Market scan here. We got volume ratios as well. All right, we've got news. For those of you guys who are interested in, you know, ticker specific news, as you can see here, as I mentioned, I've got Tesla on the screen. So for those of you guys who are interested in Tesla specific news, you can put Tesla in the filter. Right. And now we've got Tesla specific news. Let's go ahead and pull up another stock just to show you how this works. So we're going to pull up Apple and then Apple then begins to show up here on the charting software. And now we've also got live streaming news for Apple. And this will change and update as news comes in, right? We've got, of course, our main chat for those of you guys interested in chatting within the platform. But you also get a Discord room with your membership where you can, uh, you know, listen and follow along with, you know, 4,500 sometimes, even more traders every single day in our Discord room. You can also follow stock tweets right here within the black box stock software okay following whatever all the tickers you can imagine you can follow it right here and what's great about black box stocks you can open several instances so if you want to follow individual tickers and that's why i mentioned having multiple streams multiple screens excuse me so that you don't have to even waste a second going between this, you know, and typing and all, you can just have an instance open with the particular ticker you're interested in. Absolutely incredible. All right. Let's pick up uh, another stock. Let's look at NVIDIA, for example. Okay. Here he have NVIDIA. This was the trading day for NVIDIA. We can, of course, look at if any alerts popped up. No alerts this past Friday for NVIDIA. But here's the options flow that we'll learn a little bit more about shortly. All right. And, of course, 
here's our heat map for Nvidia right and this again for long-term traders you can use it for short term but I you know this is something that you know predominantly for long-term traders p0 is for uh, you know puts within the week p1 is for puts expiring next week and p2 is for puts expiring two weeks from uh, the current week right so as you can see here these are uh, deep green deep red here so the darker it is the, the more interested people are in those particular tickers or in those in that particular price so they're very interested here as we can see here and the 600 puts in Nvidia going two weeks out now let's get back to the presentation to learn a little bit more and continue to learn about the black box software so let's get back to the presentation all right so let's go ahead and get back there now understanding the flow because that's why we're all here option trades must meet minimum contract size or notional value criteria to appear in the flow we're not going to tell you what that is again this is a proprietary uh, based algorithm trading system so I can't tell you every single detail but I'm going to tell you everything I know that I can share in the flow you're going to notice a couple things that certain trades will have block listed next to them and that block means these are trades that a single large trade has been executed at one exchange sweep these are trades that are broken up and executed across multiple exchanges in the flow you notice that the options came across in different colors the first color is white. White stands for option trades that have been executed where the open interest has not been exceeded in that trade. So for example, we have Nvidia, they're buying the 600 calls. We 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 want uh to purchase those. There's let's say an open interest amount of 100. This individual buys 50. Well, that is going to show up in the flow as 50 at, executed at the 600 strike price but it's going to be white why because they only executed 50 and there was 100 in open interest so that trade did not exceed the current open interest the second color is yellow open interest was exceeded in a single trade this indicates that that particular block or sweep trade has exceeded the day's open interest for that particular strike price and product so again we had 100 open interest for that particular strike price and product a yellow trade will show up showing that someone executed that strike price and now they purchased let's say 300 so yeah that particular trade will show up as yellow why because it has exceeded in a single trade all of the open interest for that particular strike price and product purple purple is the open interest being exceeded in multiple trades it indicates that a multiple block or sweep trades have exceeded that day's open interest so if we have a particular strike price and let's say in Tesla for example you know 800 and we've got a thousand dollars in a thousand uh, in, in open interest right thousand in volume and open interest at 800 and this is a call and somebody slaps that for 2000 and then hits it again for 2000 that trade that second trade will show up as purple if we have a trade going through where you know a company a person or another algorithm based trading system is hitting a particular strike price with large amounts of excuse me with large amounts of volume do you think we're going to be interested in possibly knowing what's going on there absolutely and that's why this software wants to share that with you and now it shows up as purple so that's a trade we definitely want to know about how do the options show up in black box stocks well first you're going to see the time that the trade was executed you're going to see the product, 
then the expiration, the date that the op, uh, the, the particular you know option expires, the strike price in which it was executed, the direction of the trade, as you can see here, this is a put, the current price of the product, then you'll see the amount of options purchased, the purchase priced, and then you'll see a letter next to the, the price, and that letter explains whether or not it was a purchase or a bid. And we'll learn more about that in just a moment. But this is how the options are formatted as they come up in the options flow. You need to understand what you're watching and what you're looking at in this picture here. Because this is what you're going to see every single day when you pull up black box stocks and look at the flow. Here's a quick review. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing the date that this particular uh, you know, product was purchased. This is the VIX. This is the CBOE product. As you can see here, this is the date that this option expires. This is the strike price, which is $25. Okay, and again, it expires July 21st, 2021. It doesn't tell us in particular on CBOE options uh, what price they purchased it at. Obviously, we can just simply look at that on the VIX as that moves up, up and down. But we can see here, it's a large, it's a huge order. Over 39,000. 39,000 calls were purchased, 39,900 to be exact, at 345, and it's saying AA. And we're going to learn a little bit more about what AA means in just a minute. But as you can see here, this is a block order. So this was a very large order executed at one exchange for 13.77 million, and it was yellow. So this single trade alone exceeded of course at 39,900 all the open interest for that particular product so this is a huge order possibly a hedge fund or a large family office institution who knows looking to uh, hedge their bets or bet on a big pullback in the market in the future the flow details so when we saw that A behind the trades. These are options that have been bought at the ask price. AA stands for options that have been bought above the ask. B stands for options that have been sold, sold at the bid. BB, options sold below the bid. So it's pretty much common sense here that if you're seeing someone who is buying, you know, options that exceed the current open interest so it'd be you know multiple times be purple and they're buying it double a or above the ask is there a sense of urgency there absolutely and that's a trade that's got to pique your interest why is this individual or company or algorithm purchasing these particular options so aggressively above the ask they want to get in this trade so badly they're willing to pay above market price for the position. Ask can be just as lucrative, but it just goes to show that they've paid the going price for the particular option. B, options sold at bid. This is someone who may have gotten into the trade that same day or the day before, and now is exiting the trade for what the option is selling for at that particular time. BB, oh, that is something you're definitely going to see. <laughs> On those big red days, when individuals have taken, you know, uh, have, have taken positions, and now they're going the wrong way, and they want out, and they want out fast. If you're watching the flow, and then you see BB, get out of there, because that's someone who's getting out of the trade, and you should be getting out of the trade if you see that as well. Example, Tesla. So we got. Of course, the product, the date of expiration, 800 call. Again, this is purple, so we know that this is 
a trade that has exceeded open interest multiple times. We've got the direction. This is a call. They purchased it when the price was 762.75, so they were buying what we can clearly see is an out of the money call, right? Because the strike price is above the current price. They purchased 180 contracts and they're purchasing it at $5 per contract at the going price, right? Or at the current ask price. As you can see, the trade below hitting again the same strike price. The, stri the stock has pulled back to 757.14. They've purchased 101 contracts at 470.96 above the ask. So they were looking to get in there. All right. And we can see this is trending upwards. So I'm, I'm sure I'm announcing it to you backwards, but this is basically trending upwards. Think of it as bottom up. All right white tesla all right this would be the initial opening trade same date 416 is the expiration 800 call they purchased it at 715 24 that's the price not the time they purchased 82 contracts at a dollar 12 above the ask all right so this initial trade did not exceed the current open interest. As you can see here, it's white. And then the very next purchase, right above it at 757, boom, exceeded open interest. As you can see, 101. Higher strike price. And they paid a much higher price for the product. Why? Because it moved over $40 from the initial, right, from the initial purchase. So, I mean, the guy at the at the bottom who initially started it out made quite a bit of money. But again, you know, it, this was a risk because we don't know whether Tesla would have kept going higher, right? So that's why we don't necessarily purchase, you know, uh, we, we, we don't purchase the white, okay? We don't purchase open interest that, you know, has not been exceeded. Let's keep it going because I'm going to show you the formula. What kind of alerts show up in the flow, right? In the alert. And I showed you that section. Again, if you don't remember where it is, let me show it to you real quick because I want to know, let you know where you're going to find these. This is going to be in the alert section. And a uh, brief moment as I take you back over there. This is going to be right here under alerts for the particular all right here's the alert system and as you can see here the listing and the type of options that are pulled here Rep repeater bullish repeater bearish roulette bearish repeater bullish they all show up here now we're going to learn right now what those mean let's go ahead and go do that right now So what is a rapid fire alert? This is an alert that triggers when multiple trades in a call option with the same price and expiration occur within a two minute window. So it's just a bam, bam of an individual, another algorithm or an institution family office buying a contract back to back within two minutes at the same price and expiration all right think of that trade we just saw at tesla imagine that being within a two minute window that would show up in the alert flow as a rapid fire alert here we go as i just mentioned tesla 800 call 416 9 36 a.m shows up in the alert flow rapid fire boom boom right repeater bullish alert a repeater bullish alert it shows up as bullish or bearish this is an alert that triggers when multiple trades in a contract with the same price and expiration occur within allotted 
time frame. Okay, now we can't tell you what that time frame is. But obviously, it's not within two minutes. But the repeater bullish or bearish alert, depending on the trend of the day, will show up as repeater something. It's going to say either repeater bullish or repeater bearish. I'm going to show you in just a minute. But again, it's multiple trades in a contract with the same price and expiration occur within a lot of time frame. It shows up just like this. PLTR, $25 call. Expiring 416, it showed up just like this. The alert came through at 44 cents, hit a high of a buck 20 before settling and closing at a dollar for a gain of a 172%. Just like that. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you love what you're seeing now and, and you're not a member of Black Box Stocks, please sign up using my website, my URL, www.blackboxstocks.us. I would greatly appreciate it. Roulette alert. Bullish or bearish. Right? This is an alert that triggers when the opening transaction exceeds the open interest with bullish call sweeps or bearish put sweeps at or above the ask in options expiring in the current week. Okay? These option contracts are highly speculative highly volatile and are used primarily for short-term trades folks these are trades that are make it or break it when you see roulette they're make it or break it but they can make you a whole lot of money if you're fast on your fingers okay they're either going to win big or lose big yndx roulette bearish YMDX collapsed that day. Go ahead and look at the price. All right. Go look up that chart on YMDX that day. It was the 6350 puts that came through at 1047 a.m. Re roulette bearish. They were slapping those 6350s crazy. The alert came through at $1.30. It reached $3.80. Closed at $3.80. For a gain of 192% on your money. Wouldn't you have loved to buy 10 calls of that? Right? 10 or excuse me, 10 contracts of those puts. Swift alert. This is an alert that triggers when there are repeated opening sweeps in an option for a particular stock. And the price of the corresponding option contracts increase continually within a five minute time frame so they're just buying and buying and buying this like crazy they're, it's just flowing swift alerts are some of the best uh, alerts that you can see within the option alert flow here's agi 750 call from for it was it's May 21st so they were going out for a little bit so they were loading up here we'll see how those turn out over time as you can see here it was a swift alert it was a bullish they came through at a dollar fifty ended up getting to a high of dollar twenty eight before settling at a dollar eighteen right so you're you're you were alerted to the fact that somebody was loading up on these you know options that have some time on it and they're positioning themselves of what possibly could be a huge move before may 21st of 2021 let's keep moving quick review what are we seeing here ladies and gentlemen all right let's start from the bottom to the top right we are seeing tesla 416 right that's the expiration they're buying the 740 calls, right? It's white, so they're not exceeding the current open interest for the purchases. As you can see, the purchases are relatively small, but were picked up by the algorithm. These were sweeps, so these were trades that were executed across multiple exchanges. They purchased 86 on that first one at 939, at 315, above the ask. Someone hit it again just just two minutes just, just a little bit over two minutes later they bought another 98 315 at the ask they hit it again same strike price just over five minutes later 
right at 728.35 price wasn't really moving that aggressively 117 now two at 281 above the ask right now we see here again this was an out the money call so as you can see here you're seeing a little bit of theta burn there on that last option at 946 here where you're seeing a decline in price where you can see some of that 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 you know theta has kind of washed off that particular price now they're they're, they're paying a little bit less there at 281 because that is expiring 416 which this particular picture was taken on 416 right as they're purchasing the out of the money call expecting a very large move from where it is right now which as you can see that very last option 728.35 now what are you seeing here this is a repeater bullish right repeater bullish flow these purchases as I mentioned have not exceeded the open interest for the option we would not take this trade as it stands right now right this is not a trade that we would take and I'm gonna teach you why in just a moment but when you see this flow which would show up as repeater bullish what once you actually go into the actual ticker specific flow I, I wouldn't take this trade I'm gonna show you the perfect setup to use for black box stocks so now let's learn the successful trade setup using black box stocks the four success steps for the perfect signal is you're looking for multiple purchases in a short time frame you're looking for trades where the option purchases have exceeded the outstanding open interest right so we're looking for purple we're looking for purchase price which shows rising prices we're looking for purchases that of course are ask or above the ask and number five they've got to be sweeps <laughs> okay they've got to be sweeps so that's you know number five that I should have added there. I need you to write that down so again multiple purchases in a short time frame purchases have exceeded open interest the purchases are showing increasing rising prices for of those options the purchases are at ask or above ask I love above ask because it shows a sense of urgency and they've got to be sweeps I need to see the purple baby show me the purple trust the flow all right the money is going to come in if you trust the flow I'm going to show you what it looks like when the flow just moves exactly like you need it to make it's going to overwhelm that that screen again if you want to purchase this if you want to be a part of what we're doing here blackboxstocks.us this is what it looks like baby all right here's the options flow it's purple this one particular clove shows up on the main flow it's, it piques my interest right because I'm seeing that flow come through this was at 956 they were purchasing you know options with some time on it so they're looking for a move in COLV to happen here over the next several days and weeks ahead so this isn't a trade that you know is for today right away this is something you can actually hold some guys love these some guys don't as you can see we're seeing the spot price rising in value across the time frame as we move up right we're seeing those option prices increase as well these are sweeps so it's showing you as you can see here large purchases large option purchases of this particular product you love to see it now when you see three of those in a row is this a trade you're gonna take absolutely I'm gonna take this every single time I'm gonna take this every single time and again time is money so the sooner you see a particular product an option set up right matching what I have suggested to you is perfect flow you've got to jump in there and again that doesn't mean you'd have you can't watch the charts right we still got to watch the charts but this is what it looks like when price goes the right way right this is what it looks like when price goes the right way and pay attention at 956 you're buying this for 50 cents say you waited a little bit again for the third one and you jumped in at 60 cents you eventually 
you know, practically tripled your money within a couple hours. You go up at 12.22. Now you're selling this into the market at two bucks. Do you see now how black box stocks makes you money? You tell me you would have found this yourself, okay? You you would not have found this opportunity without the software bringing it to you. So no more, you know, uh, setting up what you're going to watch the night before and what's going to, no, no, no. The flow will bring you opportunities. And it's up to you just to have your setup be bright, be clean, and be ready to take advantage of what you're seeing in the market. And again, this is a trade that, you know, it has some time on it. So even if you were a little late on it, you can, if you're liking what you're seeing in the stock and what you learn maybe in the news or something like that, you can take a position and hold for multiple days. And for those of you guys who are watching in the future, tell me in the comments how this turned out. Hopefully good, hopefully bad. Maybe this ended up becoming a, a 600, 700, or many of our 1,000% plus winners. We've had several of those, hundreds of those. Let's keep it going. Here's Tesla. Here's Tesla flow, what it looks like in a great setup. Okay, we mentioned those 740 calls. All right, as you can see here, they didn't exceed open interest, but Look at open interest eventually get exceeded. Boom. Right? And then at that 11.32, you can see the stock pulls back. And again, why? Because this is a, 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 an option that was on expiration day. So you got to know what you're trading. 7.40 this is an out-of-the-money call. You're purchasing it well away from the current price. Right, so price, the volatility here is very strong. So you got to really know what you're doing. When I mentioned earlier, are you ready to, 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 you know, stake your claim? Are you ready to move? Would we have taken this trade by 11:32? No. We didn't see the flow in a row. Right? We didn't see what we needed. The increasing prices, preferably in sweep. All right, there's one there at 10.06 and 10.20. Looks like we were heading in the right direction. 11.32 fell apart. But then what starts to happen? We get to going again. 11.59, 12.08, 12 12.21. I'm pulling up the charts, and yeah, I'm jumping in this. Now I'm looking like, whoa, this, this could do something. I'm at 7.40, right? I buy the 7.40 option. We're at 7.34. This could look very promising here. And surely what happens? It eventually goes in the money, deep in the money. Look at 12.04. At 12.04, we're now five dollars in the money. We purchased it. We purchased it, you know, six dollars out of the money. Now we're five dollars in the money. Am I selling there? Hell yeah, I'm selling because it's expiring that day. It could go higher, but as you can see, it ended up pulling back, pulling back in a very strong way. Now when it pulled back, we were still profitable but again why 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 are we holding i'm telling you right now if you buy an out of the money option and you end up five dollars in the money you better be selling into strength okay i don't want to hear it you better be selling into strength this was an incredible victory for guys who were trading using black box stocks you could not have gotten this without this software that's just period Let's keep going. Always know what you're trading. As we just saw the Tesla flow for that day, this was what it ended up showing in the alert flow. That 1232 strike was the price was where they wanted you to get in and it was spot on the money. Your alert came in at 271 and reached eventually reached a high of $11.70. But what happened as we saw? Well, it closed out of the money. And if you had held on, you would have lost all of those gains, right? Imagine getting in at 271. You had the opportunity to sell at 11 bucks, and you 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 slept on it, and now you lost all your gains, and now it expired worthless. This is a repeater bullish 
showing multiple purchases exceeding option interest this was a, a flow you should have purchased and would have made a lot of money so know what you're trading here's another Tesla product that was very interesting because this actually was the put side so this was when things started to fall apart they purchased the 740 put at 111 expiring that day came in at 260 got to a high of 60 cents or excuse me a high of five dollars and 25 cents before closing at 60 cents for a gain of 102 dollars and 92 cents again this is an op opportunity when again you got nice and deep in the money there you could have been able to sell that repeater bearish signal for some really nice gains indicators you should be using on your charts I like the two minute time frame okay you can of course always check on trading view or whatever software uh, or website you're using for your broker right am I buying into the direction of the current trend right so if I'm buying a call option and the current trend on the daily is negative uh, it could work but I'm not going along with the trend right I'm, I like to trade with the trend so if we are bullish on the daily trend the weekly trend and I'm seeing a call option that's a high probability trade I want to take that trade it doesn't mean it's going to work every time but I like knowing that I'm going in the direction of the long-term trend a crossover I like using EMAs right I love the 50 and the 100 on intraday moves or options expiring that week if they're going in the right direction they're going to be above the 50 and the 100 you don't have to use that you can use whatever it is you you use that you're comfortable with I like 50 and 100 and of course RSI being able to show you those overbought and oversold signals particularly if you're you know in a day where you have a situation where stock is gapped you really want to pay attention to RSI but again I'm not going to tell you what indicators to use uh, because it, every indicator works right just use what works for you to stay on top of the price action but this is my suggestion this is my suggestion in the time frame that you should be trading I like the two minute final tips I really hope you've enjoyed this folks this is you know been exciting for me to share this with you but more importantly I wanted to put some trading in my voice pay attention to when the trade expires all right if it's a Friday and you're using black box stocks are you trading an option expiring that day you need to know that okay you need to know that particularly for those those of you guys who are using you know uh, brokers like Robinhood please don't use Robinhood with black box stocks use TradingView all right we've got discounts on uh, special promotions always going on too we got trade station as well special promotion look into that you know but again I, I highly suggest you use a full service broker fidelity TD e-trade as your broker Mondays are very lucrative don't miss out on those big moves happen on Monday don't be afraid to hold a contract overnight if it look, looks promising we showed you that one earlier that had a couple days on it right and going out to May right now it's only eight mid-April you can open multiple instances of black box stocks right so I like to do that right that's why it's so important again to have multiple screens I like to follow the Tesla flow if I see flow in Tesla that I like I like to open Apple flow if I like and see what Apple is doing stocks that are within seven days of earnings will not show on the flow so if one day you can't find Apple showing up well are we within seven days of earnings of Apple well guess what Apple's not going to show them in the flow okay so stocks that are within seven days will not show up in the flow that's when you need to go look into the historical flow and find whether or not individuals were positioning themselves 
before the earnings announcement and how they were doing that. What trades were they looking at? That's where the heat map becomes very, very important. If you need help, ask. Okay? Don't let days slip by of your black box stock membership and you're not making money. Okay? Nine times out of ten, you're just trading out of fear or you're not following directions. But if you need help, if you're just not getting it, ask people, what am I doing wrong? Okay? But again, you've got to learn how to use the software. 99% of the reason why people make a lot of money using it is because they know and they have memorized how to use the software, what they're looking at. Yellow, white, you know, purple. You know, what the different definitions, repeater bullish, roulette bearish, roulette bullet. They know what those mean. And they can simply look at the flow and decide whether or not they're going to take a position or not. Just simply by looking at the flow. Okay? You're going to eventually be able to see right off the bat what a promising trade is and what a trade that looks just like, you know, uh, what, what could end up being a disaster by simply looking at the flow. I really hope you've enjoyed my training. Ladies and gentlemen, my name again is LaSalle Nungu. Please leave a comment uh, for future updates to this training because there will be definitely a future update. Again, if you really love and took something from this and you're ready to sign up, join me at www.blackboxstocks.us. Again, that's blackboxstocks.us. Your usage of that URL would be greatly appreciated. I hope it comes back to you a million times. Until next time, take care. Black Box Stocks is an automated trading system that delivers real-time market alerts using a proprietary algorithm. Our system is composed of high-speed servers monitoring over 13,000 NASDAQ, NYSE, AMEX, and OTC stocks at the same time, analyzing each tick multiple times per second. This award-winning system levels the playing field by offering you technology that has too often been reserved for large financial firms, hedge funds, and the Wall Street elite. And when it comes to the results, let's just say that they are really really good. Don't wait any longer. Visit blackboxtrader.org to start generating big gains right now.